Welcome to the first episode of our deep dive into the world of finance. Today we journey back in time to the year 1910, to a clandestine meeting held at the Jekyll Island Club, a pivotal moment in the creation of the U.S. Federal Reserve. The Jekyll Island Club, once a private retreat for the wealthiest Americans of the early 20th century, played host to a secret gathering of influential financiers and politicians. Among them were men like Senator Nelson Aldrich and banking mogul J.P. Morgan. Under the veil of utmost secrecy, they laid the groundwork for what would eventually become the Federal Reserve Act. Why the secrecy, you ask? Well, the meeting's participants understood that their plans would likely face public outcry given the concentration of wealth and power involved. Their motivations were diverse, ranging from stabilizing the economy to consolidating financial power. The impact of this covert gathering was monumental. It largely shaped the structure and function of the Federal Reserve, molding the institution that today wields immense power over America's monetary policy. However, this secret meeting was not without controversy. It sparked numerous conspiracy theories, many of which persist to this day, speculating on the true intentions of the meeting's participants and the undue influence of wealthy elites on the creation of the Federal Reserve. The Jekyll Island Club meeting is a fascinating if somewhat shadowy chapter in the history of the Federal Reserve. It shines a light on the power dynamics and secret machinations that have shaped America's financial landscape. As we delve deeper into the role and functioning of the Federal Reserve, this historical context will help us better understand its influence on our economy, both past and present. Welcome to Scene 2, Unmasking the U.S. Federal Reserve. Inside this realm of finance, we dissect the critical function and influence of the U.S. Federal Reserve. Identified as the Central Bank of the United States, it wields immense power over the nation's monetary policy. It has the autonomy to sway interest rates, govern the flow of money and oversee the country's gold reserves, which, incidentally, rank as the largest around the world. But, have you ever stopped to ponder the repercussions of these powers on an everyday individual? Let's focus on our younger population, the millennials. Surprisingly, a study from the Pew Research Center discloses a worrying pattern. Despite being more educated and diversified than their forefathers, millennials are earning considerably less once inflation is taken into account. Furthermore, the costs of houses have rocketed to seven times their earnings, compared to a mere three times their predecessors. Now, where does the Federal Reserve come into play? The monetary policies of the Fed shape economic conditions directly. Interest rates, for instance, can affect a range of aspects from borrowing costs to savings value. In a time of low interest rates, those dependent on savings or fixed incomes like our millennials may find themselves in an unfavorable position. But the impact extends beyond the present. The Fed's choices resonate into the future as well. Recall the Great Recession? It wasn't merely a minor fluctuation in the economic scene. It significantly obstructed millennials' entry into the job market, affecting their future income and wealth accumulation. The pivotal part that the Fed plays in sculpting the economic terrain cannot be understated. But what does this all signify for you, particularly if you're a young adult? Welcome to Scene 3, The Federal Reserve and the Gold Market. We will now delve into the radiant universe of gold, a commodity that maintains a crucial connection with the U.S. Federal Reserve. Let's lay down a basic fact. The United States is the holder of the most extensive gold reserves worldwide. This piece of data furnished by Investopedia serves as proof of the nation's historical dependence on gold to back its currency. However, as we transitioned away from the gold standard around the mid-20th century, the role of these reserves has evolved. Today, they function as a safeguard against economic uncertainties, with the Federal Reserve Bank of New York sheltering the most substantial known accumulation of gold. Undeniably, the Federal Reserve's sway on the gold market is substantial and complex. As stated by American Bullion, central banks have a chronicled tradition of influencing the gold market, which can manifest in gold sales and leasing. Their reasons for such measures range from ensuring economic stability to influencing currency valuation. But what does this mean for us? In essence, the consequences of gold price manipulation reach the broader financial market. The worth of gold can impact the vitality of our economy, the robustness of our currency, and even the steadiness of our personal finances. This is especially applicable to young adults. As the prices of gold escalate, 
so does the cost of living and consequently, the financial strain on young adults who are already grappling with income gaps and escalating student debt. These financial burdens are only heightened by the Federal Reserve's maneuvers. By steering the gold market, the Federal Reserve indirectly affects the financial stability of young adults. Hence, the Federal Reserve's influence permeates far beyond our bank accounts, touching even the glossy domain of gold. Scene 4, The Federal Reserve's Controversial History Our foray into history presents us with numerous teachings, and the chronicles of the Federal Reserve are no different. This central banking system of the United States has been a vital actor in our nation's economic narrative, but not without its share of disputes. Take, for example, the economist Terry Burnham, who has proposed the dismantling of the Federal due to its history of monetary missteps. Let's delve into some of these supposed mistakes. The 1920s witnessed the Federal Reserve being condemned for a lax monetary policy, accused by some as the catalyst for the Great Depression. Fast track to the 1970s, and we find the Fed under fire for instigating stagflation, once more blamed on an excessively lax monetary policy. Fast forward to the recent past, the Federal Reserve's policy was scrutinized for its role in the 2007 to 2009 financial crisis. Detractors claim that the Fed's inconsistent approach, at times too lax, at others too stringent, set off a domino effect culminating in one of the most severe economic downturns in recent history. But what does this mean for the financial circumstances of today's young adults? Well, the Great Recession, partly a fallout of the financial crisis, interfered with millennials' debut into the job directly affecting their potential earnings and wealth accumulation. Moreover, the surge in housing prices adds another layer to this complex scenario. The Federal Reserve's sway on the economy has undeniably been a contributing factor. As we have explored, the Federal Reserve's historical maneuvers have left a lasting impact, echoes of which can still be heard today. Scene 5. The Future of Gold and the Federal Reserve's Role Forecasting what's to come can be complex, but let's delve into some professional predictions regarding the gold market and the possible implications of the Federal Reserve's actions. As we journey deeper into 2024, record-breaking gold prices are observed. Some authorities posit that the Federal Reserve's resolution to maintain interest rates could lead to stable gold prices in the immediate future. But the majority foresee a hike, driven by anticipated Fed rate drops and geopolitical instability. Now moving on to JP Morgan's projections. They anticipate a gradual increase in gold prices, peaking in the second half of 2025. This situation could notably affect the financial strategies of the youth. As per the data from the Pew Research Center, millennials, despite being better educated and more diverse, encounter income inequalities and have slightly lesser wealth accumulation compared to past generations of the same age. This is partially attributed to increased student loans in the aftermath of the Great Recession on their initial foray into the job market. Regarding investments, financial experts suggest a cautious strategy. While gold is deemed a wise investment, they recommend reserving no more than percent of one's portfolio for gold. This ensures variety and safeguards against market slumps. Hence, the younger generation needs to ponder these elements and predictions while mapping their financial trajectory. The Federal Reserve's involvement in this scenario is vital. Being the central bank of the United States, its decisions make a direct impact on the economy, and by extension, the gold market. Yet the role of the Federal Reserve is often contentious, with some calling for its dissolution due to past monetary blunders. Therefore, it's essential to keep a close watch on the Federal Reserve's movements and comprehend their possible effects on the gold market and the larger economy. The future may not be set in stone, but these predictions underscore the necessity of staying knowledgeable and planning in advance. Moving on to scene six, titled Friend or Foe, we question, is the U.S. Federal Reserve truly an adversary or could it be an ally? The U.S. Federal Reserve, the United States central banking system, is often at the eye of many debates. Its roles in the economy, influence on the gold market and historical actions are all under the microscope, frequently drawing criticism. As per an Investopedia article, the U.S. possesses the most extensive gold reserves worldwide, a remnant of the gold standard era. But the relevance isn't merely historical. Central banks, the Federal Reserve included, maintain gold reserves as protection against economic instability. Is this practice a security measure or manipulation? 
The conversation continues. Economist Terry Burnham, in a PBS article, condemns the Federal Reserve for its history of monetary blunders, even proposing its dissolution. He highlights its part in triggering the Great Depression, the 1970s stagflation, and the 2007 to 2009 financial crisis. Are these criticisms valid or a simplistic view of intricate economic situations? Conversely, CBS News reveals that gold prices have reached record highs, with experts forecasting further growth in the spring of 2024. They attribute this to the Federal Reserve's monetary policy and geopolitical uncertainty. Is this an indication of the Federal Reserve's failure or a testament to its power and influence? Now, let's discuss the effects on the younger generation. Pew Research Center states that millennials earn significantly less, adjusted for inflation, than their grandparents. Housing prices are sevenfold their salaries adjusted for inflation in contrast to threefold for their grandparents. Has the Federal Reserve played role in this widening gap? These queries require thoughtful analysis, encouraging us to look beyond simple narratives and dive into the complexities of economic policy market dynamics. Remember, knowledge is power. The better you understand the Federal Reserve and its impacts, the more prepared you'll be to steer your financial future. Do visit the links in the description for more detailed information about these topics. Your everyday purchases through our affiliate links support our channel. Hence, remember to like, subscribe, share, click on the notification bell, and leave your comments. We value your support.